one of the leaders of one of the heart therapy programs for years told me about Double Strong. And I had so many misconceptions that it delayed me years in discovering it. And I don't want that to happen to other people. If Double Strong is for you, I want you to know about it so that it's your choice. So anyway, in this video, I'll cover some things that will help you. And then in the next few videos, I'll actually just demo 100 improv methods for Double Strung Harp for therapeutic use. I won't uh, teach them, I'll just demo them, and then I'll show you which videos to go back to to learn those techniques. In this video, I'll be using an Eve 22 Double Strung Harp, which actually has 44 strings, because it has two rows of strings tuned the same. And I love it because it's so portable and so comfortable to have when you're playing by the bedside. Some of these you can use in a clinical setting, and some of them are just therapy for yourself at home. It's amazing how long you can improvise on a double, and just improvisation is so fulfilling to do on your own. And in a clinical setting, lots of times you have to improvise for long periods. So anyway, some of these you can use in a therapeutic session. One is uh, 158 against 158. And in this, I'm going to keep my left hand on the G, so it's really easy. And I'm just going to move the right hand. Now I'm going to echo them. I'm on the same chords. Waterfalls. Sometimes even those of us that aren't trying to have to do something for somebody, and my granddaughter was two and she was crying uncontrollably, and her parents were trying to help her, her mom was you know, rocking her on her shoulder, nothing helped. And so I got out my double strung, and with my little knowledge of therapeutic, I just tried some very simple. And nothing happened. So then I thought, well, she knows twinkle, twinkle, and I think that's too lush, but I'm just going to try it, because the only way I played it was with three against four, which sounds hard, but it's very lush. Uh, double is great because it makes things, <laughs> you sound advanced when you're not. Anyway, so I started playing it. Her sobbing slowed, and in about 30 seconds she was asleep on her mom's shoulder. In sharing that experience, I'm in no way teaching what to do therapeutically. I'm actually showing you more of what Double Strung is capable of, and it just happened to work with a family member in that incident. Sometimes, sometimes I'll take one hand pose and just improvise with that. It's a good warm-up, and it's also fun because you're not changing anything. And I'm going to do an ice cream cone here. It's a seventh. It looks like an ice cream cone on a sheet of music. I'm just going to mess around with that first just in a scale. Then I'm going to do some, some individual strings, just improvising. Ended on a G because that leads into the C well. I could also use that hand pose echo. One of the fascinating things that therapeutic practitioners have told me is that they do not miss the strings that are below this low G that's on 22 string lap harps, most lap harps, the Bria goes one string lower. But anyway, uh, they used to play 26 string single strung harps, 
and that went down to C. So they had those four lower notes. But because this is so resonant, a longer sustain, the sympathetic vibrations, it's rich and they don't need to go lower than that. If they want to go down, they actually go up and come down. So to go below that G, they can go down to an F, except it's an octave higher. But the therapeutic effect is what they're looking for. And that's what the double strung has. Now I'm going to use that same hand pose, the ice cream cone, but in my right hand I'll go down, my left hand I'll go up. Let's see how that works. You see the potential for improvising with this. You can also use six in innovative ways. A six is an interval of six strings like an E and a C. So. Ball. Now, I sit on a little heart bench. Twist this down a tad. A little heart bench like that. And that way I straddle it kind of like a horse and the Eve can sit between my legs. Ta da! If you don't have your heart bench with you, you can use the lap heart board. You just put it on any seat and then sort of back up and sit on it like this and fiddle around with it till it'll, you can rest your harp on it. You want some cloth between the harp and the board so they won't buzz against each other. And the lip is out in front of your harp a little bit. But just mess around with it till it feels just right with your harp angled onto your right shoulder. You always want to have the harp angled in front of you so you can see the strings without bending your head over. If it was straight like that, you couldn't see the strings. And this is a great comfortable way to play the harp. Thank you.